She's saying, why are you doing this to me? Let me out. Oh, so sticky. They just bottle flipped onto the picture. Good morning guys, it is me, Ender, and Eby here at the house. Zaid went off to volunteer at uh, Hoofbeats to Healing. We thought that would be good for him to go and volunteer there, help out. They, it's like a really cool facility where they help people with special needs. And he's gonna be volunteering, helping out the kids and the horses, taking care of the horses. And he really loves horses, so he was pretty excited to go and do that. I'm hanging out with these two monkeys. Oh, hi. Did you guys see that video that was trending for a while of Thomas the Train stunts? Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Hey, Evie, who is that? Is that Spider Man? Yeah. I don't. Is that the real Spider Man? I am the real Spider Man. What can you do, Spider Man? Can you, like, jump high or anything? I might go with that, everybody. Let's we'll see. Go! Ah! I saw, I think I saw it come out. That's cool. Kids were asking me for the iPad and I said, no iPad, we're playing outside. And I was like, Ender, when I was a kid, they didn't even have iPads. And we still had fun. So now we're having some fun. Woo! -hoo! It's a little squeaky, huh, Eby? Coco has an infection on her behind. Right, Coco? It might be some kind of a tumor or something because she's had those in the past, but. The groomer was like, something's going on back there, take her in. So we're at the doctor's, we're at the vet. She doesn't seem too excited, she's a little nervous. Why'd you do this to me, huh? She's saying, why are you doing this to me? Let me out. <laughs> Poor baby. I'm sorry. It's because I love you. It's okay, Coco. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Coco, it's okay. Okay, Coco, it's okay. <laughs> okay, it's all right. The bad part is over. <laughs> oh, there's nothing going this dog. She's freaking out. I'd be mad if they stuck that at my bum too, though. That is rude. Hi, how are you doing today? I think right now I could certainly be taken off your guard. There you have it. Coco has to get surgery on Monday. That's crazy. Baby. I feel so bad for her. Today we are, or Zaid is, volunteering at this um, really cool place. It's called Who Feeds to Healing. And what they do is therapy with people with like PTSD or learning disorders or cerebral palsy or like rat. Like they have a lot of different things that they can help that the horses are kind of like therapy horses. So it's really cool organization and Zade is just helping them. I'm not sure where he is, but supposedly he's out here volunteering somewhere. Zade over here? Yeah. How's he doing? How pretty these horses are. Good, that's a good job for you. Get in there, get her done. This is the kind of stuff you get to do when you volunteer. Oh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> you know what though, it's good for him. It's character building. Sometimes you just gotta clean out the <laughs> on Zade. Get her done. There you go, first shovel. Zave, you're gonna get used to the smell, buddy. Just go for it. Oh, so sticky. Oh, it stinks so bad. I'm just gonna let him do it and wait for him in the car. <laughs> I was talking to the owner yesterday. I don't see him around today, but I'll tell you what he said. So he was saying that like people with PTSD, these horses are really therapeutic too. It stimulates the part of the brain that is calming and like takes the focus away from the part of the brain that has the trauma built into it. It like rewires the brain. And the people, he's been trying to get case studies done, but he's like, our clients have been sleeping better at night and have been seeing like a lot of good results for it. And they've had a couple news stories, like local news stories about them. It's a really cool story. I'm gonna put a link below to their website. It has the news articles and stuff, and you guys can go check them out. So Zade still has about an hour of cleaning out the stall, but his hands look like they're gonna get blistered. So I'm gonna run over to the store, or I did run over to the store, the tractor supply store to grab him a pair of gloves. And I might grab him some gouaches just for next time, because I think we're gonna have him volunteering a couple times a week here until he starts going back to school. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys that. We're trying to decide what school to send him to. I 
got a crazy idea because I bought Zade some boots, but they also fit me because we have the same size feet and his shoes are already gooky. But I got two pairs of gloves. I think I'm gonna go and help and <laughs> join in <laughs> the last 30 minutes. I'm not dressed for it, but I don't care. Maybe it's kind of bugging me that there's a lot more to scoop and there's only 30 minutes left of, or 40 minutes left of volunteering and I'm like, I wanna help them get it done. So let's go do it. Hopefully I don't get on my leather coat. <laughs> you need more help? Uh, yeah, more. knocking out this stall. It's taken over two hours with the two boys and me helping for about the last hour. But I think we're gonna be able to finish it. So if you guys are in the area and you wanna help out, this place is always looking for more volunteers. Seriously, it was really fun. It's a great way to volunteer in your community. So if you're in this area, we were in Eagle Mountain. This is Saratoga Springs. You, all you have to do is call and sign up and come and help. It's awesome. So it was really nice at the beginning. I was having fun, we were going around feeding the horses, big chunks of hay, hundreds of horses swarming. Like, it was pretty scary. Like, I was just trying to stay as close as possible because I kind of avoided that. Yeah, then towards the end, they had to clean out the stable with about two feet of, let's just say it wasn't fun. I was really excited about wearing this today, but now it, oh, I have to go change and shower. So hey, some of you guys might be wondering if Roberta ever helps out with chores around the house. So I gave Roberta a new chore yesterday and she did it for the first time today. It's actually, because the puppy needs to go potty like right when she, she's leaving for school and I've been waking up but I was like, Roberta, you take the puppy out. And I was like, I'm not gonna be mean and make you clean up the doo-doo, but so we worked out a system, right? What's the system we worked out? So when she does her things, I get a tennis ball, I mark <laughs> the spot where it is. She marks it, she did it this morning perfectly. Yeah. I went out there, I found the tennis ball where she marked and I cleaned it up, so. <laughs> Puppy gets taken out in the morning, and I don't have to wake up, and I, everything, I everyone's happy. So, you cleaning yourself up? <laughs> now, Davy and I are going to cook up some dinner. Yes. Together, and then we're gonna go to the temple on a date. You guys, we're getting closer. I like six more days what? with this you thing, you and then it? they'll either put it back on, take it off, and smell it's a waterproof cast. It is waterproof. Not you a paid extra. Smell to Everyone's it. like, it's not supposed to get wet. And it's gonna get wet. Zay just bottle flipped onto the pitcher. Don't do that anymore because those have fallen off the wall before. They're still in awe. Oh, Zayd, are you gonna be okay? I think you might be the best bottle flipper in this house. Yeah. Or in the world, even. Not in the world. There are people who have spent years doing this. And yeah, I've but been doing that's a pretty years. impressive bottle flip. All right, guys, we are back. We went to the temple for a little bit. Had a nice, uplifting, spiritual time there. It was very much needed. It was good seeing our friends Ruby and Kevin, so we love those guys. And, okay, Andrew, do you want to end the vlog? Say good night, everybody. Hey, <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching the vlog, and we will see you, you, you Monday now. now.